Today's tutorial is a simple tote bag that you can nicely roll up into this little burrito or flatten if you'd prefer. Throw it in your purse and take it anywhere that you will end up needing a tote bag later on. So let me show you. You can easily undo these three snaps and then you've got yourself a nice little tote bag. So I've got my handles right here, and then it's got a cute little pocket on the front so you can throw your cell phone in there if you want. And you can use this at any market that you may end up at, but when you don't need it, you can nicely roll it up, snap it in place, throw it in your purse and carry it with you that way as well. I love this tote bag. I am very, very happy with how it turned out. And I think that you are going to enjoy this sewing tutorial. So let's jump on in. First things first, you will cut your fabric. You will need two panels cut at 18 and a half inches tall by 16 inches wide. And then for your straps, you will need to cut two at four inches tall by 27 inches wide. And then for your front pocket or the piece that will help you roll up and fold away your tote bag, you will need to cut two pieces at nine inches tall by seven and a half inches wide. The first thing we're going to do is make our front pocket. So take those two smaller pieces that you cut at seven and a half by nine inches and lay them right sides together. Then pin around the entire edge. You are going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance around this entire project, leaving a four inch opening so you can turn it right side out. And of course, remember to backstitch when you start and when you stop. Once you have sewn this seam, then it's time to trim away all four corners, making sure that you are not snipping into the seam that you just sewed. Then reach on into the opening that you left and turn your project right side out. Now you'll need to point out those corners. To do this, I like to use a chopstick and my chopstick will just gently nudge those corners out. Don't push too hard because then you can actually pop open the seam. So be gentle and then take this to your iron and just give it a nice quick press. That way all four edges are flat and on that open edge, just make sure that you're folding the fabric in about a quarter of an inch. Don't fold it in much further than that because then it will no longer look like a rectangle and you'll end up with a curved seam on one of the ends. Then take this little rectangle back to your sewing machine and sew an eighth of an inch seam allowance around the entire outer edge. This will close that opening that is there. And I highly recommend that you start in the middle of one of the side seams. Don't start on a corner because when you start on a corner, sometimes your sewing machine eats away that corner instead of nicely sewing across. Now there's one more thing you need to do to prep this pocket and that is to figure out which side is going to be the bottom of the pocket. So your two short edges are the top and the bottom of your pocket. Whatever you want to be the bottom of your pocket, draw a line three inches in from that bottom edge and across. I like to do that with my friction pen because then later with my iron, I can just press that line away, but you can use any water soluble marking pen that you have. Now just put that little pocket aside and we are going to move on to our straps. So you've got those two longer pieces of fabric and you're going to take it to your iron and you will fold it in half lengthwise with the wrong sides facing in and just press a crease all the way along that edge. Then you will be able to take both edges and fold it into that center crease and press once again along both of those long edges. So you will end up with three creases in your tote bag strap, which will just allow you to fold it so that you are tucking the raw ends all the way in to that center crease. Then clip along that entire edge and we will sew a top stitch along both long edges. The way that I do this is I start at one end, I do a little back stitch and I go all the way to the other end and then I just pivot and cross that short edge and then go all the way back along the next long edge, ending with a back stitch. 
So grab one of your main pieces of fabric and along one of the short edges, the edge that you want to be the top of your tote bag, one of those 16 inch long edges, you will draw a line two inches down from that top edge all the way across. Then take that top edge and fold it down towards where that marked line is and press a crease in place. Then you can just fold that top edge down one more time, pressing it in place. Next, along that top edge, mark four and a half inches in from both outer edges along that top edge. That's where you will line up your tote bag straps. So grab one of your tote bag straps and make sure that it is not twisted because you don't want to finish your bag and realize you've got twisted straps. And then just tuck it inside that fold that we created and pin it in place. You are going to tuck the outer edge of your tote bag handle to that four and a half inch line that you just marked. You'll do that on both sides. So both outer edges of your handle will be lined up with those four and a half inch lines. Then you'll pin those in place and we are going to take it to our sewing machine and sew a top stitch along the bottom edge of that fold. What that will do is of course hold that fold in place and secure our straps. So go all the way along that edge starting and stopping with a back stitch. And now once you have done that one seam, you want to do one more top stitch along that top edge, but you need to fold your tote bag straps up first. So fold them up, give them a press so they are exactly where you want them, clip them in place, and then you can sew a top stitch seam along that top edge, remembering to back stitch when you start and when you stop. And of course you will do that method on both panels, making sure that you have a nice tote bag handle on both of those panels before we move on to the next step. So figure out which of the two panels that should be exactly the same. You want to be the panel where you add your pocket and grab that pocket that we made earlier. And what you'll do is you will center it between the two edges of your fabric and you will measure from the top down three and a half inches. Line your pocket up along that three and a half inch length and make sure that that line that we drew on our pocket earlier is on the bottom half of your pocket. You can see my line here is on the bottom edge. Pin it in place and then you're going to take it to your sewing machine. But because we want this to be a pocket, you are going to start on one corner, start with a back stitch, go down to the line that we drew, then pivot, sew across the line that you drew, and then back up to the top corner again, stopping with a back stitch. And you have created your pocket. Next, wipe away that line that you drew so that you could follow along your seam. For myself, because it was a friction pen, I just pressed it away with a little bit of heat. You can also take a wet cloth and wipe it away if you used a water-soluble pencil. And then grab your second panel. Now you're going to lay your panels so that they are wrong sides together. And I know your brain is going to think this is extra weird because now all of my raw edges are going to be on the outside of my tote bag, but I have a plan. We are going to be fancy today and we are going to do French seams. So clip those panels together and then you'll take it to your sewing machine and you will sew along all three raw edges and you will sew a quarter inch seam allowance, start and stop with a back stitch, of course. So this is what our bag looks like at this point, and this is when you start to panic because you're like, wait, I totally sewed my tote bag together wrong, but you didn't, I promise. Grab a pair of scissors and just snip away those two bottom corners to make it easier. And of course, make sure that you are not snipping across the seam that you just sewed. Then turn your bag wrong side out and press all three of your edges. So you'll just want to wiggle your seams so that everything is neat and flat. And of course, take a little chopstick to poke out those corners gently, of course. And then you can take it back to your sewing machine and you will sew a half inch seam allowance along the same three edges. Start and stop with a back stitch, and we are not quite done yet, so don't run away on me. 
So our tote bag is officially sewn. So turn that thing right side out again. And I like to give those three edges one final press just so that all three edges are neat and tidy. And then we are going to move on to our snaps. Now adding snaps with this little kit is super easy and I highly recommend that you get yourself a little set. They're not too expensive and I will have it linked in the description down below for you. And if you want a closer look at how to use this snap system in particular, I have a tutorial where I walk you through all of those steps as well. And I will have that tutorial linked in the description below as well. So I do eyeball this a little bit. I want three snaps on the top edge of that pocket. So I want one on two of the corners and one in the center and you'll just push your all through where you want your buttons to go. And the very, very important thing that you need to know in this step is the buttons that you are adding across the top of your pocket. The smooth side of your button is actually going to be on the inside of your pocket and then the snap part is going to be sticking out. And then on the bottom side of your pocket, you can have the smooth side of the buttons along the front. So you'll be able to see them from the front looking at it. And then the snap part will be underneath that flap. So once all three snaps are installed along the top edge of your pocket, then just take that bottom flap and fold it up, lining it up along with the top edge of the pocket. Then you can just feel with your thumb where the center of your snap is and make a mark and you can push your all through. That way you've got your snaps exactly where you want them on the bottom edge. Now remember, on the bottom edge, those buttons are going to be facing down. So you will have the smooth part of your button on the outside of that flap, and then the snap part of the button will be facing towards the tote bag fabric itself. Now this step is optional, but I highly recommend it. I like to add one more set of snaps to the top of my tote bag so that when I'm using my tote bag, I can snap it up if I would like. So just center it between your tote bag straps and install. And you have officially made your foldable tote bag. So now you can see I've got that top snap there. You can see our French seams on the edge are just sticking inside our tote bag. Now to fold it, you're going to turn it over and fold those two edges in alongside the pocket that's on the front. And you can line that up with the tote bag straps on that top edge. Then fold the tote bag straps in and fold the bottom up to that sewn edge on the pocket. Flip it around and then fold it down to the top edge of your pocket. And then you can just roll it like a little burrito and snap it up and you've got yourself your foldable tote bag. And that's that. You have made yourself a super easy little burrito tote bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments down below how many you end up making because this particular project I find a little addicting. All right, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.